Number 8. Paros Patras. On a headland a brief walk from Agios Andreas Cathedral is the city's lighthouse. You may be able to tell that the Faros doesn't have a maritime role, but instead has more of a symbolic meaning, replacing a lighthouse from 1878 that was pulled down when the port was modernized in 1972. This current building is from 1999 and has a blue glow at night. Number 9. Spinney of Patras. East of the center of the city is a steep pine-covered hill known as the Spinney of Patras. The hill is loved by walkers and joggers for the ample shade offered by its pines planted in 1916 by an Austrian expert in forest management. Number 10. Platea Ioriu. The recent story of Patras is one of destruction, either at the hands of the Turks in the War of Independence or frequent earthquakes. So it's no mystery why only scraps of Patras' old signature neoclassical architecture has made it to the 21st century. Number 1. Archaeological Museum. Inaugurated in 2009, the Archaeological Museum is hard to miss from the road for its enormous metallic dome, looking a bit like a fat flying saucer. When it opened the museum drew acclaim for the clever way it displays its artifacts, organizing them in three large rooms, private life, public life and the necropolis. Private life has jewelry and everyday utensils from Mycenaean, geometric, archaic, Hellenistic and Roman Greece. Number 2. Roman Odeon. In Patras Hilltop Upper Town, close to the castle is a Roman conservatory for musical performances, built during the rule of Emperor Augustus at the turn of the 1st century AD. With a brick facade on its south wall, the Odeon was connected to Patras Roman Forum and was actually built some time before the Odeon in Athens. Number 3. Agios Andreas Cathedral. This vast basilica was started in 1908, but because of the tumultuous events of the 20th century wouldn't be consecrated until 1974. The Agios Andreas Cathedral is the largest church in Greece and the third largest Orthodox edifice in the Balkans. The church is a pilgrimage site for Christians the world over as it contains the purported relics of Saint Andrew, one of the Twelve Apostles. Number 4. Castle of Patras. Also at the top of the city, one of the first things that will strike you about the castle is how far you can see over Patras and the channel. The castle was built in the mid-500s AD on the ruins of the ancient Acropolis. From the time it was completed to the Second World War the castle of Patras was constantly armed. Number 5. Boundeni Mycenaean Cemetery. The Skioasa neighborhood on the road northeast of Patras is an area with signs of habitation going back 3,500 years. Remnants of a settlement and cemetery have been discovered, in use from 1500 to 1000 BC. The cemetery to the southeast is the most exciting part for visitors, covering 1.6 hectares with some 75 tombs of various sizes and designs that were first excavated in the 1920s. Number 6. Agio Nicolau. If you're in the mood for some shopping the lower end of this street in the center of Patras has many of the big European chains. On Agio Nicolau and the adjoining streets you'll have H&M, Zara, Stradivarius, Sephora, Marks & Spencer, Cole & Bear, Pandora and Massimo Dutti, to name a few. Number 7. Rio Antirio Bridge. Spanning the western end of the Gulf of Corinth between Peloponnese and western mainland Greece, the Rio Antirio Bridge is, at 2,880 meters, among the world's longest multi-span cable stayed bridges. It is also definitively the longest bridge of its kind in the world to be fully suspended. Hope you like this video. For more videos, please subscribe to our channel.